Hey, what's up guys? Ramon here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're like me, you probably got that email from YouTube TV saying they're going to go ahead and increase their prices as of uh, August 2020 to basically $10 more a month at $64.99. And my first instinct was how can you do this? This is not right. $10 price spike. Why are they doing it? I'm going to cancel my account. But after looking into it a little bit further, I don't think I'm going to cancel. And here's why. We'll get into it right after this intro. All right, guys, welcome back. So first off, let's take a look at YouTube price change and why they're doing it. They're claiming it that they're going to be adding eight more channels to their lineup. Uh, not only do you get eight channels, but if you look a little bit deeper into YouTube's offering, they do offer DVR with unlimited storage, six accounts per household, and three consecutive streaming at the same time. Now, let's take a look at Hulu real quick. Hulu offers a couple different plans, and if you are like most people, you're probably going with Hulu Live TV for $54.99 a month. And if you do want to upgrade to the no ads for Hulu, it's $61 a month. But let's go ahead and take a look at the $54.99. The $54.99 gives you the Hulu and live TV service. But if you wanted to add on additional items, such as DVR, it comes with free basic 50-hour uh, DVR service. But if you wanted to add their enhanced cloud DVR, it's $9.99 a month. And if you wanted to go with their unlimited screen on, it's $9.99 a month. Or if you want to do both, it's $14.99 a month. So... If you look into a little bit of that, you're basically paying $54.99 a month plus $14.99 a month, which basically comes out to about $70 a month. And you get you don't get unlimited DVR even paying the extra amount. You only get 200 hours of cloud DVR storage. And as far as being uh, as far as having the number of screens on at the same time, that will be unlimited for the within the same network within your home. So you can actually stream to unlimited number of devices that support Hulu TV or if you're gonna be remote or whatnot, it's still going to be three mobile devices. So if you're out of the house, not on the same network, it's still gonna support three additional devices. Basically, you've got YouTube TV on one side giving you unlimited DVR storage, you've got six accounts per household, and you've got three consecutive streaming at the same time. Whereas Hulu TV, they give you for $54.99 a month, uh, with the $15 add-on, you would get unlimited um, streaming while you're in the network or in the same household, I should say, you still get the three consecutive screens on at the same time and you get 200 hours of DVR storage. So you'll be paying $54.99 a month plus $15 a month. So again, comes out to about $70 a month. Whereas YouTube TV, yes, you get the eight additional channels, but you've got unlimited DVR storage. You have six separate accounts per household and you have three streaming services. So I'm not sure if it's worth to switch over to Hulu TV. I think YouTube, YouTube TV kind of played this in the right way. They kind of got you into their service for a little bit less amount of money. And even now, if you wanted to take advantage of all those services, it's still coming out to about $5 cheaper per month as compared to Hulu TV. Now, if you're not into those type of things, you don't need unlimited storage. You don't need unlimited uh, screens. You don't need uh, that number of hours for DVR. Then could you save some money on a monthly basis and go to Hulu? Probably yes. But if you want basically apples to apples and compare the both of them and see which one's a better value, YouTube TV, in my opinion, still comes out to be on top because they offer those additional services. You could offset those additional services by actually having Hulu service, not the live TV stream service, but the actual you know, streaming service that Hulu offers. And if that's something that you're looking for, then Hulu TV is going to be a better value for you. So before you make the jump to any other services that are offered, just make sure you look into the final details of DVR, number of screens, number of accounts, those all come into play when trying to figure out what is the best value in addition to the number of channels they actually offer. So hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. If you want more details on YouTube TV and Hulu TV as a comparison to both of them, I'll go ahead and card it here. I did a video probably about four or five months ago or so, a little bit deeper dive into the differences between the two services. So make sure you guys go check that out. But again, hopefully you found this to be helpful. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.